My name is Charles Metcalf, and I am one of 13 people from the Flint City who is running for the Charter Review Board. I was born and raised in Flint, and all except for five years I have been here. Those five years I spent in Vegas uh, disconnected, and I couldn't wait to get back. I was homesick, and it made me appreciate all the qualities that Flint has. When I got back to Flint, I decided that I would do whatever I could to help Flint take a step forward and upward. Uh, I was raised in Flint. I went to St. Matthews, graduated, went to Flint Junior College, uh, went off to Central State in Wilberforce, Ohio, finished my undergraduate degree in elementary education, and then I came back to Flint and got my master's from Eastern Michigan. Uh, I was a Flint teacher and community school director for 31 years. Some of the other things that I have done in Flint, I am a uh, member of the Motherly Intercession, which is a nonprofit organization who uh, works with young people whose mothers are incarcerated. I am very involved in my church and I am a member of the Knights of St. Peter Claver, the men's uh, work group at that church. I anticipate that there will be lots of minor changes in the Charter Review. I don't see a lot of major changes. I think that we need to be, our laws and what govern us needs to be tweaked. Uh, I do not want to, uh, I do not want to ever think about the possibilities of an incident where young people have been uh, executed and their bodies and their memories completely forgotten because our city is not transparent enough to get the right people in to look at and to make decisions on things that happen in our city. I think that transparency is very important and we need to make our city transparent by having checks and balances. Uh, we need a civil rights commission in Flint with power. We need an ombudsman in Flint who has real power to act and to make decisions. One of the things that I that bugged me about Flint more than anything else is the number of minority workers that I see in Flint when it comes to city jobs, state jobs, consumer power jobs. A few years ago, I saw an article in the Flint Journal that said that a lot of our teachers, firemen, policemen, and other city workers did not live in Flint. I don't know if it's possible to make a law, and that would be part of the advice that we would be getting from the uh, attorney that would be working with the uh, Charter Review Board, but I would like to see Flint tax money stay in Flint. Tix, Flint's tax money be spent to teach our young men different skills as far as working with consumer powers, the telephone company, and any other uh, work vendors that we have in our city. Thank you. <laughs>